little guys this right here is a solid whoa hey there guys so welcome back to the channel i just want to show you this little experiment so here we have a an 11 volt transformer or maybe 12 volts uh let's hook that up and show you how many volt there is i'm holding this with one hand sorry about the mess i was um running some stuff and you know so the voltage output here is AC and just we're going to be using these two terminals right here. As you can see, that is 11.34. Yeah, that's fluctuating. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to use this right here in this chewing gum container contains some iron filings that I made from um grinding iron with my angle grinder so yeah let's show you that in a second there it is iron filings yep there you have it so so in this video we're gonna fuse metal after showing you the reaction of the high voltage um, the sorry about that is, is, isn't high voltage. Um, the output from the transformer, which is 11 volts, it's not high voltage, so that's what it is. So um, after showing you that, how it reacts with the iron filings, um, we're going to use this to fuse two metal. We're going to weld two metal together with using just the polder and then the output voltage from the transformer. So let's do that right away. So put this right away, and then I'm just going to pour some of that powder on this board. Come on. There it is. So we are going to... So because there's a, a lot of resistance in this, this is just particles of iron. We All we need to do is just bring this close and just compress it. As you can see, the um, magnetic field is causing the iron filings to react. So let's just fuse this so you can see what's going to happen. As you can see, guys, that's a hot ball. Whoa, look at that. That's getting cold. Wow. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. As you can see here, whoa, that is crazy. That is so hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. So here, guys, here it is. As you can see, it it melted the metal particles. Iron filing it melted and made this round, solid, ball-like thing. So we're just going to use this. Yep. Let's press on that. It's not really, it's not that solid. Because it's, let's try and bring that a bit close. Oh, let's do that again. All right. Focus, focus, focus. All right, so there's still holes in that. It's not a solid joint. It's just breaking apart. So let's try fusing two metals together and see what happens. Or we can just, yeah, let's definitely do that. Let's, Let's pour it on this, and then try to weld this and see how it does. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put this in place right here. Okay. And then we're gonna do this. So now guys, let's bring this and bring it a bit close. Ah, oh, came up, yeah. Let's try that one more time. See how we do it. See what happens. All right, that's another ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yeah, this is a bad weld. This is definitely the worst weld ever. Let's open that up 
it's not as strong. You know, there's this machine where, uh, let, let me demonstrate that. There's this, there's a machine where uh, they just pour some, uh, maybe kind of like iron particles, iron dust or something. I, I don't know what that is, but they just pour a layer of it. And then we have, and then in the machine, they have a laser that's going to move according to what you what you want to output it's just gonna like draw a parton and then weld is gonna fuse the first layer and then the machine is gonna pour another layer of um, iron filings there's this kind of material they use for the machine but it's gonna pour another layer and it's gonna keep on welding and welding until it gets bigger so I mean so guys, that's it for the video. I hope you like it. If you don't, never mind.